Hey everyone, this is Haley. I'm an educator with Harlem Grown and today we are going to be making a bean veggie noodle soup. Um, this recipe is a great way to just use up some of the vegetables you might have sitting in your fridge that you don't know what to do with. Um, I'm going to post the full recipe at the end that you can go off of or you can just substitute as you please. Um, so now I'm going to show you some of these ingredients and we're going to get started. So the ingredients we have for today um, that I was able to find in my refrigerator was diced carrots, um, about a half of an onion chopped, um, some diced bell peppers, I used two, and eight chopped cloves of garlic. I also have about a bowl full of spinach. Um, as the spinach goes into the soup while it's cooking, it'll cook down and get much smaller. So you can just kind of use as much spinach as you'd like. I'm using spinach instead of celery because I didn't have any available at the time. Um, but you can also use celery in your dish if you'd like to instead. Um, we also have two quarts of vegetable broth, um, some pasta, I'm going to be using rotini, but penne also works well in a soup like this. Two cans of beans, my favorites are kidney and black beans. You can also make this a three bean soup and add in some um, garbanzo beans. We have some crushed or diced pepper, uh, tomatoes, and we have our seasoning. So what I'm gonna be using is rosemary, basil leaves, oregano, and some red pepper flakes. If you don't have all these specific ones, you can always use an Italian blend or whatever seasonings you would like in addition to salt and pepper. So now basically all we need to do for this recipe is add everything into the pot. So I'm going to go ahead and add my vegetable broth. Um, this recipe is great for a kind of rainy day during this time. That's kind of what inspired me to go ahead and make it. Um, it's just warm, it's easy, and it stores really well. Um, it also creates a very, very, very big portion if you want to share it with the rest of the family for a dinner or lunch. I'm going to add in all my prepared vegetables. Oops, lost a couple peppers. All right, and now we're gonna add in our two cans of beans. Make sure they have been drained and rinsed using a strainer or colander of sorts. Like I said, you can use any beans you have. These are just the beans that I prefer. And then we're also gonna add in some crushed tomatoes. I accidentally bought diced. It would have worked fine using diced. I like it crushed better, so I just threw it into a food processor to mix it up and make them a little bit more pulverized. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and add our seasonings as well. These you can do to taste. The recipe calls for a teaspoon of oregano, teaspoon of rosemary, a teaspoon of basil, personally going to add a little bit of red pepper flakes because I just like the flavor. But like I said, if you don't have these exact seasonings, you can really just use whatever you have or whatever you personally like. All right, so we brought it over to the stove and we are gonna get this started on a high heat and bring it up to a boil. Once it's at a boil, then we'll lower the heat down and cover it and let it simmer for about 20 minutes until these carrots are tender crisp. You don't want them all the way tender because once the pasta goes in, it's gonna need an additional 10 minutes. So everything is in this for our ingredients except the pasta, the spinach, the salt and pepper. Those you're gonna add with about 10 minutes remaining because those cook, cook, those cook much quicker than the rest of the soup, all right? So I'll check back in once it's out of boil and then we'll bring it down to a simmer. All 
All right, guys, as you can see, we have a nice boil going on. You can tell when it starts to bubble like this at the top, that's when you're at a boil. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna lower that heat down all the way to one of the lowest settings, and we're gonna bring it to a simmer. So as we lower that heat, it'll continue to boil, but at a less chaotic rate. And I'm just gonna cover this up partially, so I'm gonna leave about a little, little crack open. And it is going to simmer for about 20 minutes, so you can clean up the kitchen, carry on with your day and check back in just so often to give it a nice stir, see where those carrots are at as far as being tender or crisp, and we'll go from there. So cooking is always kind of a learning process. You kind of figure it out as you go. And what we figured out as we were paying attention is it actually cooked down much quicker than 20 minutes. It really only takes about five to 10 minutes to get these carrots and other veggies to a nice tender crisp. So what we're gonna do now is we've let it simmer for about 10 minutes and we're just gonna go ahead and add about a three quarter cup of that pasta. You know, a little bit more if you'd like, but this is already a super full pot and as that pasta absorbs, the liquid is just gonna get bigger. So we're gonna let that cook for about 10 minutes and then we'll check back in and add our spinach and salt and pepper. So the pasta's been in there for about seven minutes or so, so now we're just gonna add in the spinach, the soup is just about done. The spinach, as you'll see, as you stir it in, it cooks down super quick. So this is kind of gonna be the last thing you do before you just season it, drop this piece, with salt and pepper. I'm just gonna mix it in, and you'll see it kind of just wilts and goes right into the soup. All right, so the last thing we need to do before our soup is done is season with some salt, pepper. We can add this to taste. You can also add this in um, once you've served yourself, if it's not salty or peppery enough for you. I like a lot of pepper, so I'm gonna add in. I mean, if you're not sure exactly how much, maybe a teaspoon of each. Um, I usually just do it to taste. Um, just mix that in. All right, and now it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and serve it. All right, so here is our finished product. I'm about to have some for lunch, which I'm very excited about. Look at all those veggies, beans, noodles. It's got a mix of everything that I like. And I'm gonna add a couple more things in one second. And there we have it. Bean and noodle soup. I challenge all of my Riverton and St. Hope and summer camp kids to go ahead and try to make this one. It's super easy. I know you can all do it. Um, I cannot wait to see you guys as soon as we can on the farm, in the classroom, in the kitchen. So I hope everyone is doing well. I miss you guys so much. Thanks for watching.